In this segment, let's briefly consider the difference between shifts of the labor demand curve and movements along a labor demand curve. Let's take a look at what we're talking about. Let's consider our labor demand relation for a moment with labor units and wage, a downward sloping labor demand curve. And we know that if we have a, let's say this is W star and L star, and if the wage changes from W star to, let's say it's W plus, then immediately that would simply yield a movement from point A to point B on this demand curve. So that we're dealing with wage plus and labor plus. And so a change in the variable, one of the two variables that helps define this curve, a change in that variable will simply move us along the curve. A change in the other variable, let's say from L star to L prime would similarly move us to a different wage to W prime and a different point on the labor demand curve. So as wage or labor, which are simply the two variables defining this relationship, this, this model, if wage or labor change, then it's a movement along the existing curve. If any other variable changes, however, not wage, not labor, but any other variable, it might cause a shift of the curve. So let's think about this. And we'll think about this in terms of some of the determinants of labor demand we discussed a few moments ago. We have our labor demand. And now, if we had, let's say, our initial W star and L star, but now we found that the uh, the climate changed in an area uh, that we had a sunny spring and lots of warm weather, and that this is a demand for uh, for lifeguards at pools, such that we found that public pools opened sooner. Then we would find that that change in the weather yielded a change in the labor demand curve such that it moved outwards. It increased the quantity at a given price. So now we, if we had the same price, but this new demand relationship, because we had improved weather during the summer or during the early spring more than we had supposed, and uh, people's preferences and taste caused them to want to visit the pool more often or actually start going to the pool, the public pool earlier, it would increase the demand for lifeguards. Let's Let's look at something a little bit differently. Again, our labor demand relationship, some initial level, but now instead of it being a change in climate, it's simply a change in consumer preferences. Let's say that this is for iPhones, the demand for iPhones. And we see that some other phone comes into the market. Maybe it's a Samsung Galaxy X, whatever it is, or S, whatever it is. And it's better than the newest, brightest iPhone. Then we're going to find that a increase in the demand for that product, the new phone, would decrease the demand for the iPhone and would decrease the labor demanded by the producers of iPhones. So at this given wage, since the labor demand curve shifted inward, we would see that the demand for labor was less. So at a given wage, the quantity of labor used would be less. So these would be shifts in the labor demand curves rather than movements along the labor demand curve. Notice that movement along the labor demand curve is motivated by a change or motivated by a change of wage or labor, simply one of the two variables that form the curve, whereas a shift of the labor demand curve is motivated by, motivated by a change of any other factor that could possibly influence that marketplace.